Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 for the Deep. When it's your low, I equipped a Disruptor Pulse Launcher and two Thermal Shock Bombs, isn't that gonna help us? So Battle Bunny gets a Thermal Taser and a Grenade. Otherwise, we're ready to investigate this Terror Site. Um, well it would have been a Terror Site if we hadn't catched it. That's the power of the Transmission Resolver. No one can outwit the Transmission Resolver, but they can shoot our tank. At a soft aiming to be a bit silly. A little bit silly. It's now going to get a molecular control to the face. That's what you get for messing around with us, Tussoff Soldier. That's what you get for messing around. I like how we get full time unit usage, despite the fact it's already used as initial time units. Well, you're not really equipping much of actual interest here. So, um, throw your gun away. And just walk towards us, like a friend. And then we'll probably just shoot you in the face. Oh, we can't do that this turn. Maybe later. Later we'll shoot you in the face. But want to be Baker? Come forth. Oh, you'll want to be approached to this this meeting. Succeed. Your dog Roth. This time I've equipped the subscribers in um, iron armor. Should help. Should help. Discover that it's a corner. We're in a corner. It's quite a defensible corner, I like that. Otherwise, um, it's been a bit of a different batch this particular time. We're investigating small submarines rather than actually go attacking base after base, but we're running out of bases, I don't know where to look now. Probably Mexico again, but at the moment we're just dealing with missions as they come. Isn't that right? I also get to test out our new magnetic iron armor. Behold! That's the sound they're going to go out of the back, so it actually goes Ooh. But I'm going to pretend it goes Ooh. Just for the moment. We can have Don Quixote Finch launch forth upon his enemies like a de deliverance an angel of death sort of thing. I appreciate that sort of image. Let's end turn. Lots of alien doors opening and closing. Oh, one of my friends says good night. So I shall now wish you good night and we'll continue with XCOM. We've done it. XCOM continues like it always should and will. Anyway, it's time for the Tsoff to meet a baker. What happens when you meet a baker? Apparently nothing unless you're on the same level of ground. It takes two attacks to defeat a Tsoff, but we did it. The Tsoff has been broken. Now all that remains, you know, are pastries and other little treats for the children. The dog Roth decides that it's a good time to use his sonic pulsar. Let's throw it over here, shall we? No, don't give me that dog, dog Roth. <laughs> um, no, no. This is just the play. Okay, try now. No. Throw the grenade now! Alright. Molecular control instead. Molecular control instead. Thank you. Thank you. Molecular control the both. Uh, yes! Now someone, he sent me Japanese and I'm like, uh, Watashi wa ashita na ta o mimasu. I'm just going to say hi. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Defeated the Japanese. Now, that aside, we have another Tassoth here. Let's molecular control him as well. Why not? We'll molecular control everybody. Everyone. Here we are. Everyone's molecular controlled in my kingdom. What's in here? No one. Okay. Come outside again. Oh, there is somebody. Shoot him. He's stunned. Now shoot him. He didn't die. Shoot him again. Okay, he didn't die. Right, you shoot this guy. Excellent. Excellent. 
great work, everyone. Let's keep keep killing all the enemies, shall we? Where's Tonga hurting? It's time to have another angel of death moment. I should sing this song, shouldn't I? I should sing this song. Everyone's going to ask me to sing the song now. Yeah. Alright. Where is he? How much can I actually remember? Hail, Knight of the Woeful Countenance! Knight of the Woeful Countenance! You're out of time units, but who cares? Because wherever you go, the people will know about the glorious deeds of the Knight of the Woeful Countenance! Oh, Knight of the Right! Oh, fight for the Right! Oh, Knight of the Glorious Star! I think that's the words. Wherever you go, people will know about the glorious deeds of the Knight of the Woeful Countenance! Uh, that'll do for now, I think. I, I could actually, like, remember the words if I actually looked them up before starting this recording. And he ran out of time, you know, isn't that disappointing? We're disappointed, Don Quixote. Enter. Okay, Don Quixote, time to redeem yourself. Can you actually get there within a reasonable space of time units? Well, that's actually going to matter. Because he's not going to die in one hit anyway. Okay, again, will molecular control... <laughs> Tofu Claw is just carrying this whole team, isn't it? Isn't he? Oh, stop doing it! Run, Don Quixote, run! It's the Night of the Mirrors. Okay. That was a good musical. I could appreciate a good musical. But what are we bakers under molecular control? What love games is this? Oh, Don Quixote is not impressed. The Knight of Mirrors has attempted to fool our friends, the baker. Um, and now we're out of time units again. No! Stop this madness, Tooth and Claw! This madness must end! Oh. Singing our way to freedom, and it's still not working! Da! Ah! The wannabe baker. It's not gonna do anything intimidating. Just look at it! It's a baker! What the what's the worst thing it can do? Ah! Uh, just just run. Just run, tank. We don't want to get in trouble with the bakery. So, let's head to, okay, the, um, the knight is clearly so intimidating that the soft decided let's just play fair. I appreciate the nobility. It's also good to know that the bakers are them see liability. There you go. To dream the impossible dream and win an XCOM mission. Uh, Blackbeard's ghost, despite doing nothing, is now an ensign. Good job, Blackbeard's ghost. Let's now put the necessary little markings upon our uh, baker. Where does the wannabe baker? Baker, you are a liability. Okay, it's good to know. He went down in one hit too. Otherwise, no, we don't want to dismantle the laboratory. Oh wait! Wow, that is not good. Wow. Very small survey ship mission. Floating base attack. Words cannot describe what will happen if this succeeds. We need to exterminate this survey ship immediately. This could spell the doom for XCOM. It is literally going to try and kill us. This time, we know it's coming. No. Kill it. Don't, no mercy, shoot it out of the sky. Thank you very much. Wow, that transmission resolver could not have come at a better time. Wow. Whew. And that's XCOM for you. This time we were in time. But what will happen as the clock turns? As the sun revolves around the earth, um, as it would appear at least. Well, we did, we did manage to succeed. 
somehow that mission like had so many things go wrong and yet we managed to survive. Research is unknown on the heavy fighter transporter. Um, I can't really see anything else we need to do though, apart from getting the transporter and then the commander. Um, bases, manufacture. I am enjoying the magnetic iron armor though, so we'll get some more of that first. Whoop! Have another one. It's another floating base attack. We're going to try and kill it. Immediately. Don't... Yeah, it needs to die. No mercy. God, the nose. Thank you. We've got ourselves a mission. But we need to make sure our Barracudas are at the ready to intercept any and all enemies. Who attempt to try and take our base? Because let's face it, Free Wolf is like the only place we have. Let's face it, who else wants to live anywhere else apart from Free Wolf? I know Free Wolf is looking pretty sweet to me. So when we come back, there'll be more XCOM Terror from the Deep. Believe it. And hopefully videos throughout the week. I will not make promises that there will be something every day just because I have two assignments due Friday and both of them are done. It's like I am trying to do as much as I can without completely burning myself out. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's my problem, not yours. God bless everyone and see you in the future.